As we remember each person we've lost, we also remember the stories of survivors, those who have battled and recovered from COVID-19. Their celebrations and homecomings are some of the hope that's guided us through these dark times. 41 Action News reporter Ariel Rothfield reminds us of their stories. You know, that day was a long time coming. And it was something that we had all been working towards since the very beginning. Nathan Liss remembers this send off like it was yesterday. The physical therapist was part of the team that helped Average Cade recover from COVID-19. Those success stories in any part of therapy really make the job worth it. Kate spent 30 days on a ventilator and months in recovery. So when it was time to go home, it became a celebration with many much needed smiles underneath the masks. You know, one of the first questions we ask our patients is, is what is your goal here in therapy and here at the Institute? You know, how can we help you achieve that goal? And his was to get home and get back to his family. That was Shaquille Avery's goal too. I'm definitely just blessed, you know, to be here. Back in July, the 24-year-old celebrated with his nurses and doctors. After he spent 76 days in the ICU, many of them sedated and on a ventilator battling COVID-19. Seeing pictures and videos and documents on just where I was and the condition that I was in every day is, is like an it's a moment, you know, because it's, it's it, it could have easily been taken away from. And he wants people to remember that, to give them hope. It was people that was losing their entire families to this virus, but I sort of understood that my, my part was to, you know, give other families hope that it's possible to make it out and make it through. And these are the times Liz says are worth celebrating. Especially right now with the way things are in the world, it makes it that much better just to see someone like that get home. Reporting in Kansas City, Ariel Rothfield, 41 Action News.